Now to the North Country where one scientist in the region will be going to the extremes for climate change research. She's headed about as far south as you can go and she spoke to North Country Bureau reporter Michael Miller. Leah Treberg from the Adirondack Watershed Institute at Paul Smith College will be traveling to Antarctica to support the McMurdo Dry Valley's long-term ecological project, an experience she said will help us understand ecosystems everywhere. Treberg's is a research associate at the Institute where they focus on studying and observing the effects of environmental stressors on Adirondack waterways. We go out and collect samples from lakes and streams across the Adirondacks and then we bring them back to our lab right here and we measure all sorts of things on those water samples. We look at nutrients we look at chlorophyll, um, and then we gather up all that data to understand um, our lakes and systems here. The McMurdo Station in Antarctica is one of 28 long-term ecological research projects across the U.S. and abroad with the goal of studying how the ecosystems change over time. I'll actually be working on lakes in the dry valleys that are permanently covered in ice. So the work that I'll be doing down there looks very similar to the work that I do here in the Adirondacks in the winter. Sampling the lakes through holes in the ice, and then measuring the physical and chemical characteristics of the water column under the ice. Trey Bergs spoke about the importance of understanding our ecosystems. It's important to be collecting this data now and seeing how it's changing into the future. When we have an idea of if and how things are going to change, that lets us make decisions on how we as humans want to behave now so that we can be better citizens um, and prepared to deal with those changes that might come. This is Treyberg's second trip to Antarctica, an experience she does not take lightly. I'm very excited to go. I feel very lucky to have this opportunity and I'm excited to share it with my community here, especially Paul Smith students. If anyone can handle two trips to Antarctica, it's someone that lives in Saranac Lake. Because what's really colder? Later this week at the Joan Weil Adirondack Library on Paul Smith's campus, Trey Briggs will be holding a presentation for the public so they can learn more about her research. And for more information on that presentation, you can go to mychamplainvalley.com. Reporting in Paul Smith's, Michael Miller, ABC 22 News.